right, good morning. We made it to California. Finally done with Arizona. That was an adventure. But our first stop, we're not too far from Arizona. But where I'm standing now, they call it Needle Point. And I was kind of got up a little later than I wanted, so I couldn't really film anything getting up here because the light was just starting to come up when I got up here. So I just needed to get set up and get a composition or whatever. So I shot one composition shooting down this way, getting the foreground and the hills in the back. And then also, there's hazy clouds in the sky, but nothing great. Sorry if it's windy, it is it is windy up here. Last time it was really windy. But that's why I got the camera kind of low to try to block some of it. So right now what I was just shooting was the highway runs right through these two peaks over here on each side of the road. And I was trying to shoot as slow as I could and try to get some of those light trails from the traffic going through. So, but right now all the mountains in the, all the mountains in the back, they're starting to get lit. So those look pretty nice. Um, so with this nice foreground here and then with the mountains in the back, um, I'll keep, keep looking around and framing up and see what we can come up with. foreground and that road in I did a panorama to start over the just on the other side of the road just made my way took three three images I was going to use my 70 to 300 but I ended up almost zooming all the way out with it so I was like well I might as well throw my better better lens on and if this audio is crap because of the wind then Maybe I'll do some voiceover. I don't know if I can cover the mic. But those were shooting at ISO 100. I was shooting at F16 in six seconds. Earlier when I was shooting just that pass with the road, I was still shooting. I dropped it down to F16 and ISO 100. I was getting like 15 seconds just to try to get some of those light trails from the vehicles passing through. So, sun's still coming up. On the other side this evening, we're gonna come back up since the sun also sets right across. Try to get some sunset photos. We were up here last night just checking out, see where we wanted to go. And this, this whole area is just wide open, all these rocky hills, huge, big old mountain range across, which What's really cool about it, it's really light colored, and in the evening it almost has like a creamish, yellow greenish color to it. It's, it's really awesome. So, we're gonna be back up here this evening and hopefully get some nice sunset shots. And it won't be as, won't be as windy. So, mounds off in the distance, I'm gonna probably throw my longer lens on and get some of those, get some light on the peaks. I just like, even though there's no clouds, to give interest to the skies. You got, you got the blue, and then right above that, you got some pinkish red, and you just got a nice, it's like a gradient of color um, up above the mountains. So I'll grab my 7300 and get, try to get some decent images of those. So back to.
lost my lens cap down the mountain oh. and then on the way down here I about fell down the mountain I wouldn't have went too far but it sure, sure would have hurt but we're done shooting over there I think we got some good images I don't know we'll see once we get it up there um, but I'm in a nice flat spot yesterday I yesterday evening when we were up here I saw it if I knew it was only going to get down to like a low of 40 last night, this would have been a perfect area to pitch a tent. Nice view, and then we would only been maybe 100 yards from where we just shot. But <clears throat> later on, we're going to end up, since we got time, because I want to come back here for sunset. We got all this out here that I want to, I'm just going to go explore since we got a bunch of time. Um, see what other views we can get and then maybe tomorrow there is because all this is BLM land so on the other side of the highway there's a, a road dirt road that goes back towards those bigger mountains on the other side that I was that that I'm gonna photograph this evening so but until the M4 take off Friday, Saturday, I posted a video of me trying to fix my old tripod, and I ended up having to break down and buy a new one. It came in Tuesday. This is it. It's it's very well. Now that I fell, it's already broken. It's got all kinds of scratches now. <laughs> Some nice scuffs, but <clears throat> great tripod. I'm really impressed with it. It's carbon fiber. It's the iFootage Gazelle TC65. This is my old ball head. And then all carbon fiber. The only thing that's plastic on this whole thing, for some reason, is this hook that you can hang your bag on. But the legs come out real smooth. The clip releases. Those are metal. I guess these are plastic. Okay, I take that back. This part's plastic. But the clips are metal. All these, th these are metal. That way you can spread the legs out. This is metal, unlike my other one. And what's really awesome, I love about this one, is once you get your tripod down, you don't have to get it 100% level. It's got this, this nice little lever here. Unclip that. And this whole top plate is almost like a ball head. It's on like a small bowl. And you got your level up top. So you just move this, get your bubble lined up, lock it, and now your tripod's tripod plate is level. So you ain't gotta worry about adjusting this the whole time, trying to get the thing, whole tripod level. So you get this plate level, you're good to go. And then when you framing up your camera, you just gotta level that as usual. Soft carrying grip, keep your hands warm. Another awesome feature is if you loosen this, loose your neck, and down here, you just unscrew this, that comes out, tighten it back up, 
release these. It's got three different angle positions, but now you can release it, and now you can shoot pretty much on the ground. So that is awesome. So so far, second time I've got to use it, and I'm loving it already. So the other day, two nights ago, or two mornings, yeah, two nights ago, I was in a spot called Vulture Peak. It was like a two mile hike from where I was camping. Up this mountain, awesome views. I think I got, I got a couple images, they're probably not like the best in the world, but I like them. But it was gonna be my video for this week, but I'm using a new app. Instead of using the iPhone video, I use an app. And I really like it, but I was shooting in, uh, it makes a lot bigger files. And I didn't realize I was shooting in 4K, the highest quality. So a minute of photo, a minute, one minute of video was 575 megs. So the whole video, all the footage together that I took without cutting it, it was like 42 gigs. <laughs> I was like, my computer couldn't even, it couldn't keep up. It was just trying to edit, it was just skipping. So, so I had to scra scrap that. It was a really nice hike too. All the sequoia cactus and all that. But, that's what you get for not paying attention. So, I'm gonna end, well not end it, but we're gonna go explore, see what else we can find and come back this evening and do some sunset photos. All right, we'll see you then. If it's windy a little bit, more windy than I thought it was going to be, but we'll push through it. But I've been running around trying to get different compositions, see what I want. I come across this here. Also, my main my main subject tonight is the big mountains in the background. But to make some interest, we got these couple smaller rocky hills in the foreground. They got one here closer halfway through you got another one so it kind of draws so it's kind of creates almost like a triangle and kind of helps draw the 
draw the eye in a little bit. I was, since there was light on this far one right here, but the longer and longer we wait, the less and less light there is, and it just wouldn't look like in the frame. So I just have to crop in or zoom in more and get what I wanted. Also threw in the polarizer, because again, no clouds, and it doesn't look like we're gonna have clouds for the next, I don't know how many days, sunny California. But, so put the polarizer on just to help bring out the blue a little bit more in that sky. I mean, it's probably not a photo I'll throw on, throw on my website or anything, but I mean, if I'm not gonna have any clear, any clouds at all for the next five or days or so, I want to, I'm going to take a, I'm going to photograph it. There's no sense in wasting a nice, nice view. But, just waiting for that. Again, waiting on the light. Also, earlier when I was walking around, I was thinking after this morning we shot the road going through the two, two rocky hillsides down there. Um. I decided I'm actually gonna stay up here until the stars come out and do some astrophotography. And hopefully we got enough cars on this highway that when I'm doing long exposure for the stars, I'm gonna do some star trails. Cause that's actually south. So we should get those nice arcs, star trails. And then, so shooting for those, hopefully there's enough traffic coming through in and out where we can get some nice headlight, taillights, light trails. So, I'm looking forward to that. We'll see how they come out. I mean, if these come out well, I'll throw them up at the end of the video. But, yeah, it's gonna be a long night. That's why, if you ever wonder why, why is this guy haul all of this stuff on the back of his camera bag? Well, one, I got Harvey. It gets cold, so like this morning it was only 38 when we left out of here, so he gets cold. I ain't got a jacket, so I brought my jacket liner for him. I brought a couple extra layers for me, and then also that bag I can have so when I downgrade and take layers off, I have something to put it in. And then tonight, since he got so cold this morning from the wind, I actually brought my army poncho liner this time, and I turned it into a sleeping bag type. I tied it so it's a sleeping bag. He's just laying on it right now, but now he's got that. He's got the jacket liner. So he should be pretty warm right now. Or even later tonight. It's only supposed to get down like low mid 40s tonight. Real late in the night. I should be back at the camper by then, but it's supposed to get down to like 38. So we should be good. We're just gonna wait on this light. It's it's looking pretty nice right now. I'm, I'm just gonna start shooting as usual and just work the light as I go. And eventually we'll come out, come out with a photograph. So let's get started. I could set you somewhere where you can actually see what I'm shooting but there's no space behind me really and nothing really down there uh, I could probably set it up there but I still might took a few shots I'm shooting at f16 I figure I switch it up I usually do f11 so ISO 100 Right now, also, I put it on custom or uh, custom white balance so I can change it the way I want because the way this light is and those hills are already uh, kind of reddish and that sun hitting just gets really orange and really red. So I just wanted to warm it up some or cool it down some so it wasn't so red and I ain't got to fix it that much in uh, Lightroom. So, 
again, we're gonna keep shooting. I'm gonna get some more shots and then probably break out the 70 to 300 and get some tighter shots. Probably obviously a panorama. I love my panorama, so I'm gonna keep shooting. And because uh, as usual, once that once that sun starts going down, it goes down quick. So I'm gonna get back to it. Don't want to lose that again. started taking the shots I never focused the lens I mean you can see everything it wasn't blurry but I didn't zoom in and double check make sure it was 100% focus so, not gonna redo those shots once I get these I'm gonna get a couple turn it back horizontal try to try to get some tighter shots and I'm gonna move up top to get a higher vantage point and get those mountains the sun's really going down so I'll get back when I'm done Jumped up on top, the light's going quick. Get some shots. Just like that, the light's going. Those mountains, the color of those mountains was just awesome. So now we sit, we wait, and we'll get some star trails. Probably not, I'm not gonna videotape that portion. I'll do a star trails one later. But I'll definitely, after I get these done tonight, I'll definitely put them at the end of the end of this video um, to show you what we got. I'm just hoping the traffic keeps up so we can get some nice star trails with light trails so if you like this video like the video subscribe comment it'd be awesome and help me out and until until next time we'll see you on top